Tuesday, June 1st, 2021, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So today we're going to look at the difference between economic freedom and the major uh, economic schools that uh, propose economic freedom and central planning, which is the uh, basic tenet of the Keynesian School of Economics and see how those uh, defer uh, a little bit of the consequence of central planning as well we're going to look at. We're going to look at Tax Freedom Day here in the UK. Uh, I didn't realize yesterday was the first day of the year where we actually start working for ourselves and we'll uh, look into that in a minute. It might sound a bit strange but uh, before that Let's quickly look at the markets this morning. Let's do it the other way. Let's look at the markets uh, first. It's 8.11 a.m. London time, so it's going to be busier today. Yesterday, the markets were closed in the U.S. and in London. Right now, we've got spot gold at 19.13.20, up just over $6. We've made a new high already this month, <laughs> month of June. Uh, the chart is looking very good on a monthly basis. Uh, in the short term uh, scheme of things, we could see markets move around, but it looks very good. The high has been 1916, 18. Uh, I still think that 1920, 23 level is or area there is very important as resistance. The low has been 1905, 85. Silver is outperforming. It's up 1% at 2830, up 27 cents. The high has been 2840 and the low 27.97. So precious metals have kicked off the month pretty well so far. Uh, the Dow future is up 143 points, 0.4%. And NASDAQ is up 42 or a third. S&P 500 is up 17 points. So stock market continues to go up. Uh, this is just like a reflection of a weaker currency really for, for now. Uh, and uh, can that keep going? Uh, the stock market keep going up with a falling dollar uh, for a while. But I think if interest rates start moving higher or yields, uh, it could be a, a problem for the stock market. But I would say uh, commodities, gold and silver, relative to paper assets, are still highly undervalued. If, if I were uh, to start investing right now, I would... Try to uh, favor more hard assets and commodities. And that's what I'm going to keep doing as well, uh, personally. So the currencies, we've got uh, sterling at 142.37. It's up 0.2%, so a little stronger here. Uh, the euro is uh, virtually unchanged, slightly higher at 122.32. Uh, the dollar is down slightly versus the yen at 109.50. Uh, dollar yuan is up a little bit. Yesterday, the uh, Chinese uh, central bank raised a reserve requirement rate for, for the first time in many years. I think it was from 5% to 7% or 8%. And they're trying to stop the, the yuan rising too quickly or the dollar falling too quickly. I would say they haven't really been that successful because uh, we haven't really seen a, a bounce back that much in the dollar ever since that change in the reserve requirement rate. Uh, the Aussie dollar, I, I've been looking a little bit at the Aussie dollar, the long-term picture, and I think uh, Aussie dollar could rise back up to around 80, 80 cents, but that seems to be a huge resistance. Uh, right now, of course, we're at 77.50, up about 0.2 of a percent. Uh, now to the uh, general commodities, uh, WTI crude is up uh, one percent at uh, 67.50. High-grade copper is up a quarter of a percent at 468.50, and the 10-year yield is creeping up a little bit here this morning. It, it's up three basis points at. 162 and a half or thereabouts. So now to uh, economic freedom versus central planning. And yes, uh, there are two schools of economics that are completely opposed in terms of those. Uh, the Austrian School of Economics focuses 
on small government, sound money, uh, freedom of the individual, uh, the free market. They don't believe government should interfere in the market. They, they think the market knows best. And I agree with that as well. While the Keynesian uh, school, which has really been around for ever since World War II, I, I, I would say, uh, is the opposite. Uh, they believe in uh, government interference. They, they believe in fiat currency. They, they believe in debt. Uh, they think they don't trust the individual. They think that that the bureaucrats know best, the people at the top, people at the World Economic Forum or the Bank of England or the UK Treasury or US Treasury or Fed. They know what's best for us. Uh, and uh, the major two economists of those camps and people can argue who they are. But for me, it's Ludwig von Mises on the Austrian School of Economic side and John Maynard Keynes on the Keynesian side. And it's amazing uh, that uh, in 1920, um, Ludwig von Mises wrote about socialism and that it would fail because it, it, it's centralized. It doesn't allow the market to function. It interferes with prices. Prices are just uh, the, the ratio of exchanging goods and services amongst individuals in the free market. And if a central authority tries to interfere with that, it disrupts everything. And that's what happens uh, also to interest rates, which is basically the price uh, of money when central banks and, and governments interfere in that price. It creates loads of uh, problems. And then you've got, uh, of course, John Maynard Keynes on the other side. He he was an elitist, a globalist, and uh, he didn't trust you or me. He, he thought he knew best uh, what was best to do. And even in the foreword of his major work, the General Theory book from 1936, in the German translation, he wrote that uh, <laughs> what he proposed is better uh, suited for an authoritarian society. So is it any wonder that since World War II, which was a war that was supposed to free uh, the world from uh, fascism, we're getting more and more fascist. We're losing more uh, of our freedoms. And uh, yes, it, it does feel like a, a lonely battle, but uh, I, I think uh, knowing about this and believing in it, in the freedom, uh, of the individual in free markets, how it trumps basically central planning all the time. I can't stop trying to inform people about it. And I highly re recommend the Mises website, Mises.org. And their motto, the Mises Institute or motto is in Latin, and it is tu no sede malis sed contra aud dent your ito. My Latin is not very good, but this basically means do not give in to evil, but proceed ever more boldly against it. And it's one of the uh, things that I think about when I make my videos. Yes, it, it is lonely sometimes having these ideas, but uh, I think they're good ideas. They're the right ideas. Uh, they're the yeah, and they're moral as well, I would say. So we're going to keep plugging away at that. Um, before I look at the Tax Freedom Day, I just want to say that there's a really good book I recommend. Uh, many of you have read it already, but for the new viewers, uh, The Law by Frederick Bastia. I'll put a free uh, PDF below, a link in the description so you can read it. Or you can buy it from the Mises.org website. They sell this book. And basically, uh, it's by a French economist, philosopher uh, from the first half of the 19th century. Uh, and he talks about the function of the state <laughs> and that the state is there to protect the individual, not to plunder the individual. Uh, so it says here, the law created order in my thinking about liberty and just human conduct. That was a quote by Walter Williams. It says, State, statesman, essayist, and economist Frederick Bastia was a renowned champion of individual freedom 
and the law first published in 1850 is Basia's most famous enduring work. Uh, the law has been acclaimed for more than a century as the classic moral defense of liberty and limited government. Here is a timeless message of immutable principle, the immortal words of one of history's most courageous thinkers and brilliant writers. So this is one of uh, his most memorable epigrams, uh, Frederick Bastiat, and this is what he said. The state is the great fiction by which everyone tries to live at the expense of everyone else. So with that, let's look at the uh, Tax Freedom Day. <laughs> and I have to thank my wife because she was listening this morning uh, to uh, talk radio on her computer uh, on YouTube. And uh, Julia Hartley Brewer had someone from the Adam Smith Institute talking about Tax Freedom Day. Actually, it was yesterday. So what does that mean? Uh, so let's go through uh, their website, adamsmith.org. Uh, Tax Freedom Day 2021 is May 31st. In 2021, we worked 150 days just to pay our tax bill <laughs> from May 31st onwards we're working for ourselves tax freedom day is now later than at any time since 1995 high taxes discourage work investment and economic uh, growth i would say it also tramples on freedom because that means the government is getting bigger so uh, what the adam smith institute does is they add up all the taxes that we pay not just uh, the income tax or corporate tax or national insurance but vat taxes on uh, vice taxes they call it on, on booze and cigarette and things like that and, and i would probably add another 10 days uh for the uh price tax while well, they call it inflation yeah the inflation tax let's say it's running at three percent which is really conservative that's another 10 days right three percent of 365 is probably 11 but uh so i would say it's probably going to be more like june 15th or something like that but uh and another controversial thing that the austrians say i don't think it's controversial but uh is that anyone who works for the government actually doesn't pay tax and you might think what are you talking about uh well just think about it uh someone that works for the public sector or the government how do they get paid from your taxes in the private sector so all they're doing is recycling that tax again and uh keeping the uh, people at hmrc busy <laughs> with a job so now let's look at a a bit how central planning fails. Yes, Mises predicted that the Soviet Union would collapse, that communism doesn't work because it, you have central planning. So yesterday, China announced that it's lifting its uh, two-child policy. It used to be one-child policy, I think from 79 to 2015. Now they're raising it to three <laughs> because uh, it's not working. <laughs> They're having a problem in China now that uh, young couples have to support four grandparents uh, because there isn't an extended family and their pension system is really bad uh, in China. So, um, but the, the Chinese people, from what I read in the FT, the reaction on social media in China was pretty uh, <laughs> against the government. They said, why don't you give us uh, more support, family support, child care support? Why don't you give women more support to have children? No, thank you. I'm not going to have a third child. So this is an example of central planning. Uh, uh, people who think they're better than, than you or me or the billion or so Chinese out there, uh, they think they, they can micromanage their lives and it ends up in disaster <laughs> and it's going to be even worse this three child policy i thought in the beginning when i saw the headline well that's going to be good but not necessarily so this just goes to show that central planning doesn't work uh we need to uh get back to a, a time maybe where tax freedom day is in the beginning of january 
<laughs> maybe uh, January 10th or 11th. Maybe, uh, yes, we need to uh, have some kind of uh, small government uh, to administer the rule of law, but we need to leave everything to, to the free market, uh, to individuals. Uh, and you might ask, what about people that need help? Well, that's called charity. That, that's something that should be done on the local level, in my opinion. And I do have to admit that there are some Austrian school economists out there, like Rothbard, who actually <laughs> didn't want any government. Uh, that could be interesting as well. But anyway, there you go. The Austrian school, free market individual liberty, uh, sound money, small government, Keynesian, uh, inflation, fiat currency, central banking, intervention, less freedom, big government. It's what we have today. We need to get away from it. We need to really get that tax freedom day to be in the beginning of January, very early in January. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please share it far and wide. Think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and all these other platforms below here. I wish you all a great day. Take care. Bye.